Hey, in this short tutorial I'm quickly gonna go over how to use 3D AI model generators um, for game development, in my case Roblox Studio, you could also use them in Unreal Engine for example. And I went ahead and downloaded a few images I found on Pinterest. Um, you could basically use any image you found online, or you could use the integrated image AI to generate basically anything you can imagine. Um, so let's go ahead with the hammer image. Um, what I always recommend is to use the image upscaler tool. Um, to kind of give the image more detail, let's uh, say a stone hammer. Um, let's keep the scale factor at 1 and uh, let's click upscale. And as you can see the image has been upscaled. If you open it, you can see that added a lot more detail to the oval image. Uh, let's go ahead into image to 3D. Um, they just released a new image to 3D model which is can be found on the image to 3D beta. I would always recommend using the new model because it just it gives PBR textures, which means normal maps, roughness maps, etc. And it also has way better quality. So let's go ahead and uh, drop that image in here. We can use the image we upscale. Um, then let's set the material to PBR so we get um, normal maps and roughness maps. We can set the quality to be, let's say, medium. And the prompt we can say stone hammer. And let's hit generate. That usually takes about one minute with the old image to 3D, uh, which is here without the options. It usually takes 20 to 30 seconds. Um, but as I said, I would recommend this new model for generation because the quality is just so much better. Let's hit generate and I'll see you when it's done. And after around, I'd say a minute, the model has been generated as you can see. It also added roughness maps and metallic maps. Um, which you can see better uh, by the reflections. Um, now you can go ahead and download that model and use it in the uh, Roblox Studio and Unreal Engine, whatever. But we'll go ahead and try it with another model. Um, let's go with what would be good. Let's go with this one and let's set the quality to be high. And let's say stylized or let's say stone lamp fantasy with, uh, with lights. And then we can hit generate again and after a minute again as you can see the model has been generated it also added those little artifacts here and um, that model looks pretty good actually um, so we can go ahead and download that as well and let's open up the roblox studio and i'll see you there let's start with a base plate and we can simply import our 3d model by clicking import 3d and then we can select the latest model which we downloaded and as you can see that appears here, we can keep the normal settings as is. Let's hit import. And after the model has been imported, you can see that looks pretty good. Um, you could use this in a game, animation, whatever you wish. Uh, let's also import the other um, file, it should be this one. The hammer, yep, let's import. And that came out great as well. So you could use this basically for anything you can imagine. Um, you could also use the image AI tool inside the studio to generate images. In my case, we could, for example, if we want to generate the stone eggs, we could go ahead, choose a model which we like, um, choose a style. In my case, maybe I want to generate a game icon, so I would put in here stone, hammer, game, assets, or game icon. And we can go ahead and hit generate. And after around five seconds, this should be generated. As you can see, those uh, other icons which, which it generated. I actually don't like any of those. So let's try another prompt. Let's say stone golem game game art. Let's hit generate again. And after again, five to 10 seconds, that generates new icons. And I like those a lot better, especially this one. I can click on it to save it. And I could use that as a game icon, whatever you be whatever you wish basically and uh, you can choose for example if you want to generate images like these you can choose another model um, I myself like Pixar Sigma a lot and you could choose 3d model as a style and then input your prompt um, and there's also the option to remesh um, models for example if you want to use mixer mode to uh, animate models in my case for example I generated this stone golem character um, remeshed as uh, FBX, put it into Mixamo, and then you kind of get uh, subtle animation. 
uh, which you can then use in the game animation, whatever. Um, I hope this short uh, tutorial was helpful and um, I have a few other tutorials on my channel which go over the image workflow, retexturing workflow, there's also a texture AI where you can generate textures. And uh, yeah, hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys soon.